everyone, we're here with Chris from Canhammer, and we're gonna be doing one of our B-Sides videos, playing some 40K. So Chris, run us through your lists. Okay, so I got a couple things in reserve, but starting off is I have a mana core in the back corner here. I still think they're pretty good. I got 10 veterans with a last cannon and a chimera. I used to, I used to give them three plasma guns. S didn't for this game, because they just die too much, and it's counter meta, and if you give them melt guns, usually people aren't that close. I got 50 guardsmen in a blob, Two last cannons, three auto cannons. I have um, five flamers just for the counter charge. It's always handy to have the D3 strength four. I then have a Lord Commissar, he's right there. I have Azrael to give them a four plus invulnerable. I have three priests, five sergeants with melta bombs, and everybody has crack grenades. Uh, so, you know, don't bring your Wraith Knight near me. I can reroll to wound, strength six. I should be able to take those bastards down. I then have a plasma tank, Leaving Rust Executioners with the two side sponsons. Yes, I know that's a really dumb choice nowadays, but I love my plat my forge roll turret and my double track tank and I couldn't I couldn't get rid of it, you know, cuz rolling three uh, five dice and any one's taking a hull point when you only got four, kind of risky, but I just like it too much. And then I got five rattling snipers. Was supposed to be nine, but I don't like playing with unpainted figs and the four that are unpainted got left on the shelf. All right. And I have some unpainted stuff, but which is okay. We knew that, yeah. Ooh. All right. So, oh sorry, we missed oh. out. In reserve, I have a Vendetta and five Deathwing Terminators, so I'll put them down there. So I got uh, four Thunderhammer Storm Shield Terminators, an Assault Cannon Chain Fist dude, uh, just, just to give them something when they come in. Generally, I should be running them to make them all Assault, but didn't want to, and then I, I did take a Vendetta just for something to put the Platoon Command Squad in. So I do not have orders, which isn't using the army to its full potential, but I really wanted them in the Vendetta. All right, and going up against Chris, we have my Chaos Space Marines running Crimson Slaughter. So on the table to start, we've got an Aegis Defense Line with a comms relay, not a quad gun, but uh, yeah, don't have the upgrade kit, so that's a reason. We got 10 cultists in there with Mark of Nurgle. Uh, over here, we have Bellicor, five spawn with Mark of Nurgle, a Chaos Sorcerer, this guy here with the Force Axe, and a Chaos Lord with a Power Fist and Lightning Claw, Demon Hearts, all the fun stuff. Uh, Sorcerer has four up invulnerable save and a uh, Spell Familiar, as well as the Force Axe, Melta Bombs, Light Grenades, and the uh, Chaos Lord has the Helm that gives him Rage and Furious Charge, as well as the Power Fist, Lightning Claw, four up invul, two up save, and it will not die, and Mark of Nurgle, so he's toughness six. He's got the Crimson Slaughter Codex. Yeah, he, he basically does. Uh, then in reserves, we've got two Helldrakes, four Obliterators, two units of two, and another 20 Cultists that are sitting in there, uh, all with Mark of Nurgle as well. So with that, we're going to be playing one of the scenarios from our upcoming tournament, Capital City Bloodbath. And in this case, it's going to be Crusade as effectively the primary. So what we're doing here is there's a normal Crusade, and that's our number one and number two objectives, or sorry, yeah, one and two objectives here. So you got those two, and then over there. And then for secondary, we're using Modified Maelstrom, pretty similar to the Bay Area Open and ITC Compact. So every turn, we're gonna roll 2d6, re-rolling a double. Uh, so it's gonna be keeping track of that. One and two is hold objective one. Hold either objective one, hold either objective two. Three and four is destroying enemy unit. Five is getting line breaker for turn. And six is to have at least three of your scoring units and no enemy units in your own deployment zone. And then for Tertiary, we've got Slay the Warlord, Line Breaker, and First Strike, which is similar to First Blood, but either player can get it. It just kills something in your first turn. So with that, I deployed first, so I've got first turn. Chris, do you want to seize? Uh, I do. All right, give it a shot. Before we do that, though, can we just say that um, this is sponsored, like we are ITC listed event, so give those guys a shout out from... Uh, Frontline Gaming. Frontline Gaming. They sponsor Logan's One Plus Armor Save channel. Now, one other thing that I want to talk about is, um, so we're going to be releasing a full-length video, just a raw video of this game on my channel. So if you want to see some guys who are interested in the, this, how we're doing things, and then you guys are doing one, one of those like hot and heavy or hot and mini. Quick, quick and dirty. Quick and dirty, same <laughs> thing, uh, battle reports on one plus. So I will seize. The six will be this uh, turn seven. Okay. If it comes up, make my day. No, nope, it's a two. All right. Good luck, Chris. Yeah, good That's luck. The awkward left-hand handshake. You get first turn? All right. 
So hey, we're here at the end of Chaos Space Marines turn one. Just did a little bit of shuffling around. Bellicor is swooping, just moved out here, since one of my objectives was to have three of my scoring units within my deployment zone. Uh, over here, we just had the spawn move out very slightly. They're invisible. I didn't want to risk not getting invisibility off, so they did stay in uh, cover here on the ruins. And past that, we got invisibility off on the spawn and force off for my sorcerer. And that's been it. Don't have any useful shooting this turn. So with that, we're going to go into Astro Militarum, Dark Angels, turn one. Yeah. At the end of Chris's turn one, walk us through your turn. Okay, so I basically um, put the cultists down. I killed five of them. Oh, I can take a leadership test down. on them. Oh, yeah, it's going to get to that. Leadership eights. Uh, they uh, fail on a nine. So they run. Yes, they do. Uh, it's 2d6, right? Yep. Uh, three, four inches. So... One of them is going to be off the table, so the whole unit is Yeah, the whole unit goes. All right, we'll get to that. All right. Okay, so I shot a lot of Bellicor, did nothing, didn't hit at all. Shot my plasma tank, lost one hull point. I rolled two gets hot, but rolled a four plus for one of them. Did one wound to a spawn. Which Other I saved. Other than that, I did nothing, but I did manage to get my objective one. I do have three units in my zone, and I did kill a cultist unit. Well, you only get your two objectives, right? So you've got hold objective one and kill an enemy unit. Okay. Which okay. you achieve both of, so you get two. Okay. All right, and I managed to achieve uh, none of my objectives because my cultists ran off, so I don't have three scoring units on my table edge. Uh, yeah, because you didn't separate one of your characters from your spawn unit. Exactly. Which would have been crazy. One thing, as I screwed up earlier, I did say that we had the same objectives, but I guess I was mistaken. That's yeah, it's two, two unique objectives per, per player, but the idea is behind rolling both of them for the same game turn is that both players can work actively to deny the objective from the other player. Fair enough, sounds good. All right, so we'll be back with uh, Chaos Turn 2. We're here at the end of Chaos 2. We had the spawn move up over here. They are invisible. We had the Heldrake come in. He killed, what, three guys from that four plus invol save, despite yeah, winning eight. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. a lot of them. So that was good. Bellicor just popped up here. He's not doing too much. Cultists came in from reserves and moved up here. Both my units of Obliterators came in. These guys fired Twin Linked Meltas at the Chimera and did nothing. These guys fired Twin Linked Meltas at the Manticore. Both got penetrating hits and did nothing useful. So the Manticore is down to one hull point, uh, but it's immobilized and it lost its, what, heavy bolter? So, yeah. not not either result we needed, but eh, whatever. It is I'll what it is. I'll get one more round of missiles, which is what I wanted. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'll tell. You know, it's a game about people get all, like, bent on shape. It's a game of shooting. You're supposed to lose something almost every turn. Like, that's normal. Like, yeah. Uh, so, for objectives, I had hold a, either objective two. Uh, actually, we're going to get to that into Chris's turn, because end of game turn we score those. But I do have hold an objective two and kill an enemy unit. I managed to not kill an enemy unit thanks to some unlucky rolls. It is what it is, and we'll see what happens there. So we'll be back at the end of AM turn two. Okay, so that didn't go so hot. I killed all but three cultists with my barrage weapon, and I, I, I did no wounds to anything else. Sorry, you I had two wounds to respond. I snap fired my snipers when I was going to run them. So I lost out on contesting his objective, but I did two wounds to a spawn. So I end up only getting one point. So it's three, and you get... Uh, I got one point as well. One point. So it's for three to one. Two. Yep. And we'll be back with Chaos 3. All right, we're here at the end of Chaos turn three. Had my cultists come on. They've run up, so we got two units. There's these three, and then these ten. Over here, the sorcerer left the uh, unit with the spawn. He's got shrouding, so he's gonna have a two-up cover save if he jinx, and he's also gonna be scoring objective two, unless somebody contests. Up here, the spawn and the Lord decided to try to move up and assault them. Six-inch charge, failed it. <laughs> uh, Bellicor got invisibility off on them, though, which is kinda nice. Between the Hell Turkey and some smiting from the Lord, we killed all the rattling snipers for my objective, so I'll hopefully be able to score both. Mm -hmm. Over here, the obliterators took out the Chimera, and the Hell Turkey killed everything that was in the Chimera. And then over here, these two obliterators took out the Manticore. So, with that, this unit is still looking awfully scary, because he's going to take out all my cultists, which are my only objective secured stuff. So Chris is basically guaranteed one objective from that at the end of the game. I just have to kill a unit. Yep. So, oh, no, sorry, I got a six and a... I got any objective two, yep. and then I need to kill a unit. So, objective two there and there, and you've got to kill a unit, which is probably going to be some cultists. 
Yeah, it might be. We'll I'm see what happens. I'm, you're gonna, you're gonna come, come back, and Bellacore's gonna be dead. All right. Just so you know. Chris has called it here. All right, so we'll be back in Astro Militarum Dark Angels turn three. We're here at the end of AM turn three. Yeah, so I got it. Bellacore's dead. I told you I'd do it, and I did it for the people. He landed him in front of me, went in there, charged the priest. I got the reroll uh, four plus and vulnerable save. I got reroll to wound and just did a ton of wounds to him. Yeah, I thought he was just going to shoot, but uh, yeah, Chris is smarter, better 40k than I am. Wow, arguably, it's uh, arguably worse in some ways. We'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. You know more of the rules than I do, clearer. But uh, anyway, I wasn't able to overrun into the objective, so I couldn't get that one. So we both score objective two. Um, my vendetta came in. Sorry, fucking. Shot a hell turkey, did a hull point, and that was about it, really. Um, I have objective two, I killed the unit, so I'm at five, and you're I'm at, at three. three. So I got both my objectives as well. All right, now we'll be back in Chaos Four. The end of Chaos Four, had some obliterators, just walk up, take some pot shots into these guys, kill one of them. Over here, we had some cultists move up. I forgot to run them, but it doesn't really matter. You did run them. I did run them? Uh, oh yeah, I got one inch. Yep. Heldrake moved over here, uh, hovered, killed three heavy weapons teams. Yep. So I'm good yeah. with that. Uh, we had the spawn, charged Lehman Russ. They did one glancing hit. Sorcerer sat there, did nothing. Uh, cast something uh, in feeble on them. Yeah, which was huge. Yep. And smite, which uh, didn't help. Uh, over there, the Chaos Lord charged into the Bob Squad, took two wounds to Overwatch, fell two two up armor Just so saves, unlucky. but didn't take any wounds after that, thank Christ. Uh, I got nothing on It Will Not Die, so with that, we're going into Dark Angels and Astro Militarum turn four. Okay, so that was my turn four. Went really well. Um, I didn't do anything to Chaos Biker in combat, which is okay. But he did ninja snipe the, uh, the sorcerer off objective two. Um, my death returners charged and killed his uh, turkey. And then this guy backed off and killed a couple spawns. So it's looking okay on objectives. I'm up by two on him because I got objective two from the death wing twice actually. Well, I don't know if I was in there, but it was, I got that one at least there so we'd have to measure. And um, I'm just going for Slay the Warlord now for the tertiary. But because uh, even on the primary objectives, I don't know if he can score more than two, so we'll see. I think goes. best we can do there is going to be a tie. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so right. uh, it's looking really good for the guard. That Azrael Blob Squad is, is amazing. Did really, really well. Because right. uh, it doesn't die. Four plus reroll is really good. Invulnerable. All right, going into turn five. Here at the end of Chaos Five, had some Blood Raiders run up, charge into these guys. They made all their saves, unfortunately, despite taking four wounds. Yep. You made, you, made you only took one wound. I took turn. one wound as well, which wasn't bad. Just it is. Not bad. Over here, Hell Turkey Vector struck uh, the Vendetta, did nothing. Spawn killed the Plasma Cutioner, which is pretty nice. And then I had my cultists uh, move and run up to try to get to this objective to at least deny it. We'll see what happens. Uh, over here, my guys are within three, so I'm denying that one or at least contesting it. So, with that, we're going into AM Dark Angels turn five. Well, that turn went really, really my way. Um, so start off the shooting phase. I did a wound there. That was about it. I jumped them out. They didn't do anything to the turkey that's there. It's just we couldn't place them. He's over there. Um, combat went as usual. I did a wound. He stayed. Uh, this, I killed his Chaos Lord on objective two. Right now, I'm winning by eight. I had to get objective two and... Uh, kill a unit. Kill a unit, and I did. So that went really well for me. And uh, yeah, so... We're gonna see if the game ends. You want me to roll? Go for it. Three up, it continues. It so continues. does continue on to turn six. All right, we'll be back, Chaos turn six. All right, here at the end of Chaos five, the Blood Raiders moved up through cover, shot some last cannons at the Vendetta and effectively grounded it. It's immobilized while it was hovering. Uh, stripped it down to one hull point and killed one of its last cannons. Turkey moved over here, killed the veteran squad that had popped out last turn. With this combat here, my Blood Raiders finally died, but we kept them tied up for a few turns. My Cultists moved up here to be within scoring range of the objective. And in a Hail Mary, I moved my two spawn over here to uh, basically draw the blob off of that. And the gamble was that they tie them up for a single turn, 
and they did with one wound left on the spawn, yeah. which means he can't do anything to these guys. So, well, short of auto cannoning them, I suppose. But we'll Salt have to see cannon. what happens. Salt, Salt cannon. cannon. But it'll happen. We'll have to see what happens there. Uh, if I fail it, curse wins primary. If not, we'll see what happens. So, with that, we're going into AM Dark Angels turn six. It's gonna be so good. So turn six didn't go my way necessarily. I shot the cultists, killed two. They didn't have to take a panic. I killed the spawn, went back this way on the objective. I didn't really move my guys as clean as I should have. Um, this guy shot there, killed an obliterator. His uh, doom chicken's down there. So basically, we gotta see if the game ends. Yep. Because right now, uh, you're winning primary. No, tie for primary. No, you're winning primary. So I've got no, one. Sorry, tie. Yeah, you're winning primary. Uh, we're contesting there, because he's hovering. Nobody has that one. We're contesting there, so I win by one right now. You win by one. I'm winning secondary, I, and then on the tertiary, I would get first blood slay warlord. So you can still win this, but no line breaker. Okay, and so I can still win this. So See, the four game up. goes on. Goes on. All right, turn seven. We'll be back with chaos turn seven. Okay, hey guys, here at the end of the game, uh, it was pretty damn close. If there hadn't been a turn seven, <sighs> but instead, turn seven. Uh, Chris came over here, wiped out my cultists. I moved my Heldrake up here to hold that objective. He's hovering. Back here, my cultists went to ground to stay on that objective and not get wiped off. Yeah, because my Terminator shot them to try and force a panic off the board. Yeah, I passed just on an eight. My Obliterator managed to take out the Vendetta with a lucky multi-multi shot. Broke my heart. Yeah, and that was that. So at the end of the game, for primary, I hold two objectives. Chris holds two objectives, so we tie there for four and a half points. For secondary, Chris won 10 to 7. So still pretty close, but he wins that as well. And that's worth 8 points. And then tertiary, Chris got... Uh, Slay the Warlord. Slay the Warlord. And, and First Blood, because I killed something in my turn uh, one. Did you? Yeah, I ran one of your units off to yes, cost you the did. objective. Yeah, that damn broad. And you didn't kill anything in your turn one. No, all I have is Line Breaker, because your Warlord's still alive. So that's so, a minor win, I think, to me. You win major. tertiary, so that's... Uh, eight, 12 and a half, 15 and a half to four and a half. So, so 15 pretty, and a half to four and a half, that's pretty substantial. Pretty big win. Out of 20. Out of 20, yep. So good game, Chris. Yeah, good game, man. Lots that was fun. a lot of fun. And we'll be back with some more later on. Yeah, check out oneplusarmor.com and canhammer.com for more information about both of our channels and more games and battle reports.